Hi, I'm Belle, welcome back to my channel after a very, very long time. So I'm sorry I've been absent for, I think three months or something. Um, and life is obviously looking very different for us all these days. So I'll have a little catch up with you at some point, either on this video or on another one. Um, but today I thought I would do a what I eat in a day video. It's about 8 a.m. and I'm gonna do a 25 minute bar workout on YouTube, on my TV. Um, I've got a couple of friends who will call in on WhatsApp and we'll do it together. Although actually they're in completely different cities. So um, that's what I'm gonna do first thing. I like to get it done, um, A, because it gets me up. So I set an alarm for 7.30 every morning. It gets me up when I'm not working um, because I'm not working at the moment, which I'll explain um, later. Um, but also I just like to get the exercise done and then I know that um, I'm not putting it off for the rest of the day that it's actually been done and it kind of wakes me up as well. So I'll get that done and then I will jump on when I have something to eat a little bit later. Um, I am doing calorie counting at the moment using my fitness pal. Um, I am still following a lot of the kind of principles, I guess, of Slimming World, but I'm not doing it properly. Um, I'm not signed up as a member. I'm not doing Zoom classes or anything like that. Um, but I will explain that at some stage in a, probably in another video, or if I have time, I will do a bit of a chat later, but I hope you're all well. It's lovely to see you all. Um, sorry for my parents, obviously. Um, yeah, just got up just about to exercise. So I'm not looking my best. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all well. I hope your families and you and your friends are all staying safe. Um, and yeah, I'll show you what I eat as I go through the day. Bear with me today because obviously I might be a bit rusty, but hopefully we'll be all right. So I've just done a 25 minute bar class and then I did a five minute pop sugar, um, what's it called? Pop sugar, five minute standing flat belly workout with pop sugar fitness. Um, yeah, which having done the other class 25 minutes, was quite tough. Um, look, I'm really sweating. Um, but anyway, I've done it. I've necked a glass of water. I'm gonna need another one now. I'm gonna do some stretching uh, because my calves my calves after doing the bar workout are really tight so I'm gonna do some stretching have another glass of water and then I will decide what to have for brekkie um I try and have some protein if I have done like some like strength training like I have today so I might have some eggs or something I don't know but I'll show you when I have it okay so it is five to ten um, and I've just done a Coach Kel stretch workout. Um, so just like a ten minute kind of cool down stretch after I've done my bar and my ab workout. Coach Kel is quite good. Um, I like her. She does some of the bar workouts I do as well. Um, bar is kind of little movements, a little bit like ballet. It's inspired by ballet, but it's it's more like kind of in the style, I guess, of like a Pilates class or something like that. Um, it feels like you're doing tiny little movements, but then the next day your legs really hurt. Um, so I'm really enjoying those. Um, and I've been doing it for about a month, something like that, six weeks. Um, and yeah, I've been loving it. So anyway, I've just done my stretch. Um, I should have said earlier, I am vaguely intermittent fasting. So I'm trying to eat within an eight hour window and then fast for 16. I'm not super strict. I um, if I'm really hungry, then I'll eat earlier. Um, but I um, am therefore not gonna have my breakfast just yet. I'll probably have it. I tend to um, finish my dinner and my eating earlier in the evening and then start uh, eating earlier in the morning. So some people I know don't start eating until lunchtime or early afternoon. I don't really eat in the evening. I, If I do have an evening meal, I have it really early. Now I'm at home, I can do that, which is great. Um, and it means that I can then start eating a little bit earlier the next day as opposed to eating into the evening and then start eating, eating later in the day. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but you know, you know where I'm going. So when I do eat, I think I'm going to have a sweet omelette. So I've got three eggs, some cinnamon and some Splendor sweetness. So I'm going to whisk that all together, pop it in a frying pan with some flora um, spray oil. And then when that's all cooked, um, I'm gonna add um, some fruit to it. So I've got half a pink lady apple, and then I have um, weighed out 100 grams of frozen raspberries and strawberries. So I'll pop that all through my fitness pal at some stage to work out how many calories my breakfast will be, but I'll tell you later when I'm having it anyway. So um, yeah, at 10 o'clock, I'm just having a um, black coffee. 
Um, so the one I've got today is the Kenko Yummy Caramel Barista Edition. This is my favourite, this and the hazelnut Kenko are the favourite, my absolute favourite flavoured coffees. I've tried loads of them, I don't like all of them at all, but the Kenko ones I really, really enjoy. And I used to get them all the time, then they disappeared, I couldn't find them anywhere. Then around Christmas time, I found them in my little co-op near my house. And I got a hazelnut and a, uh, got a couple of hazelnuts and a couple of caramel ones. Really, really nice. I'm down to my last like teaspoon. Um, and I can't find it anywhere else. I can't find, somebody mentioned they'd seen it in Morrison's, but I can't find it. So if anyone has seen it recently, um, so the Kenko caramel or hazelnut, please could you let me know where? Uh, because I really, really enjoy that. So anywho, I am gonna sit, watch uh, the news that I like to do uh, around this time. I will tend to watch the news on YouTube as well from the night before. Um, and I'm gonna do that, drink my coffee, and then I will show you when I'm having my breakfast, probably about 11 o'clock, I would imagine. Hope you're all well. So it is 20 to 12. I've so far just had the black coffee and water that I showed you earlier. Um, and I'm just going to make my sweet omelette. I have also just added, so in here I've got um, three eggs, did manage to spill them, but you know. Uh, so three eggs, a tiny sprinkle of cinnamon, a sprinkle of the Splendor sweetener. Um, and then I, the reason it's sat on my scales is because I have just weighed out 20 grams of chocolate protein powder. This is the one I use. Um, I use the Protein World Slender Blend ones in my um, smoothies and stuff just because um, I like the taste and I don't like most protein powders so um, these ones I don't mind I add like spinach and berries and stuff to my and banana and stuff to my smoothies anyway so I can't really taste it but some of them I really am not keen on these ones and the um, what's the other one I like the uh, grenade carb killer ones that come ready-made in a bottle um, I quite like the chocolate fudge brownie one of those as well or oh, fudge brownie one I think um, but anyway, so yeah, that's what I've got, 20 grams. So in my bowl, I've got 20 grams of the protein powder. Um, I've got three eggs, a little bit of Splendor sweetener, a little bit of um, cinnamon, and that's in here. I'm gonna give it a whisk. And then um, in my frying pan, I've just got a little bit of the Flora Sunflower cooking oil spray. Um, so I'm gonna whisk this round, fry it in the pan, and then I will uh, show you what it looks like on the plate. So at five to 12, this is my brunch breakfast lunch don't know um so i've got the chocolate it's more like a pancake than an omelette i guess but chocolate protein whatever it is um and i have just cooked that on the hob and then i have finished it off in under the grill um and i did give it a flip over and uh, just made sure that obviously it was all cooked the um mixture before i put it in to be cooked was quite thick and it was quite difficult to get the um lumps out of the protein so i did add a tiny little bit of water and did have to whisk it quite hard but it looks good and it smells good so hopefully it will taste good too then over the top of that i've just put um half of a lindell's coconut kvark quark um and then i've just uh, got my chopped apple and berries stirred it around and chucked it over the top so um that's that then i've got another glass of water and i have got another coffee this time i'm having it white with a little bit of semi skim milk so my whole brekkie is, um, or brunch, whatever it is, uh, today is 430 calories. And hopefully, because it is protein packed, it will keep me full for quite some time. So looking forward to having this, and I will let you know later what it is look like, blah, 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 what it tastes like. So it's just coming up for four o'clock. It's an absolutely gorgeous day today. I've been out in the garden, um, been drinking lots of water. And when I came in from the garden, I had a little bit of ham. Um, I'm now having my late lunch, early tea. Don't really know what meal this is, um, but I've just done a toasty. So um, I do this in the frying pan. Uh, I just kind of made a ham sandwich. So in there is ham, uh, one slice of Iceland mature cheddar, um a little bit of floralite and some jalapenos and a little bit of barbecue sauce so i've made it as if i'm making a sandwich then in the frying pan i've put a little bit of spray oil 
and I've just toasted it on both sides until the cheese has melted. Um, I probably will have a little bit of bar more barbecue sauce with it and probably some sriracha chili sauce too. Then I've got another glass of water and I have also got an orange. So this is what I'm having for my next meal at five to four. Oh my goodness, that sandwich was so, so good. I don't know what it is about like putting the sandwich in the frying pan with a little bit of spray oil and like toasting up both sides and all the cheese melting, but it's so good. And the barbecue sauce and the jalapenos with it as well. So, so nice. It was like having, like it tasted like a pizza. Can't really explain, but it was ever so good. So anyway, um, I've just popped it all through uh, the My Fitness Pal app. Um, which is really, really good. It's got um, the MyFitnessPal app. It's got a scanner on it, so you can like scan barcodes, um, but it also remembers what you've had before. So if you have the same breakfast more than once a week, it will kind of store it up and then you can just hit like yesterday's breakfast or whatever. Um, so that is all good. So yeah, brekkie, um, as I said, was 430 calories. And then the sandwich I've just had is was 606 calories. So I'm currently at about a thousand, what was that? 606, 430, uh, 1,036 calories, I think. And um, my kind of goal that I try and stay under is 1580. Sometimes I have that many, other times I'll have 1200, 1300. Um, but that's the max that I try to get to. Um, I can't remember where I got that calorie um guide from i think i must have put all my details into a website at some point and that's what it gave me um but yeah so that's the max that i try to go to 1580 calories a day but obviously you know whatever calories anybody has are completely unique to them how much exercise they do how tall they are whether they're male or female um or whatever whatever so um yeah um so anyway i just wanted to let you know that my sandwich was really good um i've just been out in the garden so still not looking um my best um but i have um an iceland delivery in a bit so i've come inside so i can hear him when he brings my stuff to the step um so yes i will um let you know if i have anything exciting delivered if not i will show you if i have anything to eat in a few hours so it is seven o'clock and I am finishing my day with the pink lady apple and the orange that I showed you with my toasted sandwich earlier, but I haven't eaten yet. So I'm gonna have the apple and the orange. I'm also gonna have some of this sparkling blueberry and raspberry flavored water, um, which is no added sugar. Um, and I will be finishing my day on just under 1,200 calories. Um, I'm just still really full from my um, toasted sandwich and my omelette pancake thing earlier. But yeah, it's been a good day. I've enjoyed what I've eaten. Um, it's been a lovely sunny day, which always helps um, because I am tempted with like tea and biscuits and things like that when it's cold. But um, yeah, today's been a great day of food. I've really enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it's been a bit boring, um, but this is the reality of my life. Um, so yeah, it's been lovely to record again today. Um, as I said earlier, first time for a long, long time. Um, but hopefully I'll do a few more of these videos in the days and weeks to come. And as I mentioned, I will do a proper update at some stage. Um, if it's not just before this video, it'll be just after it. Um, but I hope you all are staying safe and well. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of your week. And um, yeah, I'll see you again very, very soon. Take care. Bye.